Hello, I'm Dan Pekka here with Chef Luke from AK Pizza Crust. And today for Pizza 101, we're going to talk about, or Luke's going to talk about, how to properly proof a dough ball and why it is important to properly proof them to achieve the best pizza possible. You ready? ready I'm chef? ready, yeah. All right. Having your dough proofed properly is key to making a perfect pizza. You start off when you get the dough balls, they come frozen. And notice the color on these is pretty white. Uh, it's a little off white, but mostly white. Notice how small it is as well. Once it's properly proofed, it's gonna be more of a yellow color. If it's underproofed, it's gonna be more close to the frozen dough ball color. And if it's overproofed, it's gonna be more of a gray color. And you're gonna kind of wash out the yellowness in here. Notice also the size, it's about twice the size of a frozen dough ball. So you wanna have one and a half to two times the size. These have been in the fridge for about two days. You can get by with 24 hours, 48's better, three days is even better. Uh, maximum life is probably about five days from the second you pull it out of the freezer until the yeast is spent and it's no longer working. We choose to proof our dough balls on a sheet pan like this. Some people use dough trays or the dough totes, they're fiberglass, sometimes they're white or green or red, whatever color you choose, and those work, but the issue with those is that they're not consistently open all the way across your tray. A lot of people put their dough balls in there, they stack them up, put them in the fridge, and think that they'll be ready in a day, which isn't true. Most of the time, your top dough balls will be proofed like this, and the bottom ones still look like this inside your tote. So you wanna have as much even airflow as possible, and that's why you use sheet pans and a speed rack just like a bakery would. Ideal temperature range, you're probably gonna to wanna to stay about 34 to 40 degrees. Anything less than 34, you're not really proofing, and anything over 40 degrees, the health department doesn't like. So keep it in between that window. If your dough is underproofed, it's not gonna to wanna to brown properly, it's not gonna get crispy, and it's gonna be very, very bubbly in the oven, causing you to constantly have to watch it and pop all the bubbles in the oven. If it's overproofed, it does taste good and it will get crispy, but it'll be flat and almost lifeless. You get way less lift out of a pizza where the yeast is spent. Yeast is living, and the key to having your pizza proof and rise properly is keeping that organism living. Following the proofing process is incredibly easy, but does make the biggest impact on the quality of your pizza that you're going to make. Basically, at the end of the day, all you wanna do is take your frozen dough balls, put them on a tray, wrap them with film, and put them in the fridge for two days until they look like this.